All right, John, uh, you set up the Ryanair Don't Care campaign. Can you just give us a bit of background information to it and why it was set up? Yeah, uh, 2008, we actually daughter did the training for Ryanair to become cabin crew. Um, subsequently, after the training, she was employed by an agency to work on the aircraft. She was based in Dublin. After a seven week period, she was terminated and the reason given, she wasn't suitable for the company. Um, obviously, as a family, we were devastated. Um, Sarah was actually left in Dublin, no free flight home from Ryanair. And uh, it took her five days to contact the family back home. Uh, I subsequently went over to pick her up. And she's, she's, she's a bright girl, she's, she's not a soft girl, she's, she's quite wise. And on the ferry back home, she turned around and said, Dad, I think I've been scammed. And I said, nah, don't be silly. A big company like that can't scam you. Uh, subsequently, three weeks later, looking into the recruitment policies and talking to other cabin crew that have been terminated, it was a scam. So it's quite a widespread practice, is it, you think? Yeah, it's the, the, there's, there's quite... There's, there's quite a lot. We, at one point in 2009, we believe 200 a month were terminated. Yeah. Uh, Ryanair have a policy, the more they recruit, the more they terminate. If they recruit 200 in one month, then they've got to make vacancies for them 200. There's a fee for the training of 3,000 euros, which you've got to pay. Obviously, there's, there's monies there, there's profits there. Uh, for Ryanair and the trainers on how many determinate. The bigger picture is because it's done through an agency, the hourly rate is 16 euros plus paid to the cabin crew. The agency bill Ryanair 26 euros and 10 euros go in the pockets of Ryanair, that's what you can believe. Mm. That's per hour and there's 4,000 probationary cabin crew, so it's a lot of money. We reckon in 2009, possibly alone on cabin crew, 20 to 30 million pounds was made by Ryanair. Pilots are a lot more, they do the same policy with pilots, they use a company, Brookfield Aviation, in the Midlands, who actually give the contracts to Ryanair pilots. Same policy. We reckon 40 to 50 euro per hour extra is made by Ryanair by doing this contract through agencies. And same again, there's a lot of pilots that are getting terminated also. It's as if they put brick walls so that the, the, the young students at 18, 18 to 21 they seem to target, actually they put brick walls up so that they trip up. Once they trip up, you're done. And uh, what kind of things have you been doing through the campaign to kind of highlight this? Uh, the first, the first six months, the, the, the first six months, I, I had a lot of anger. Um, I was writing to the Downer Street. We, we wrote to uh, Lord Mandleton's office. I actually went down to his office because he wouldn't answer me, me letters. Went down to the business secretary's office. Uh, really, just got fobbed off the first six months. Got in touch with the Irish government got in touch with the Irish employment and it was pointed out that uh, as far as the employment law goes, none of these students, as well as Sarah obviously, have any legal right and employment law up to 12 months. They've got to be in the company for 12 months. So then we started looking at the pattern and the pattern was that three to six months, a lot of them were getting terminated, these probationary cabin crew, and the vast majority were, were gone before the 11 month period. What, what kind of like uh, actions have you done through the campaign? Because the governments wouldn't listen and authorities wouldn't listen because we got in touch with the aviation authorities, the CAA and the IAA, and they really did nothing, and they still do nothing three years on. So then I started climbing on roofs, I started targeting the, um, the training camp in Bishop Storford, which I ended up getting arrested for harassment because I targeted the, the training manager. Um, and really just to highlight to students with me banners that uh, you know what, what this company is doing is training you, taking your money, putting you on the aircraft and terminating your contract and just whichever country you're based they just leave you, you have to make your own way home. Um, 2010 last year 
uh, we, we, we actually started doing the Irish aviation in Ireland, started campaigning, uh, pr protesting outside Ryanair's head office. Uh, we had a good, good publicity through that. Then again, it's, it's not about me and it's not about Sarah. It's obviously about the other young victims that are getting pulled in weekly, monthly by Ryanair. It's about all them, it's not just about my daughter. It started off as my daughter and then now it's the more, it's, it's got to stop. Uh, the authorities need to look at it and then, you know, deal with it and deal with Michael O'Leary and his henchmen because they are, they're all folks and they're corrupt. Are you getting a lot of people contacting you uh, with their own stories about being mistreated by Ryanair? We, we, we've, we've got loads of stories that was on our first blog that was closed down six weeks ago by the powers to be. It was going for 18 months, Ryanair don't care. Uh, we've opened a new one, Ryanair don't care crew, which uh, has got a, a lot more information on. We're getting three to 500 hits a day on our new blog. Obviously a lot of them are in the aviation business that are going on it, but they're the ones that we need to, you know, they need to know what's going on. Uh, this year, uh, we did the, the Cheltenham uh, race, it was the Ryanair Chase race in Cheltenham, and actually I run on um, the finishing line just before the horses uh, finished, and that did well, that, that put us on the map really. Uh, I, I actually got death threats through that, would you believe? <laughs> For, for, for standing on a, a race, a horse race tack with a ban and I got death threats and I got uh, bad sexual remarks towards my daughter. Uh, obviously you're going to get that because there is, even though Michael O'Leary went on the telly saying I was a lunatic, there is a lot of lunatics out there, but I assure you our campaign is not lunatic, it's real. Alright John, uh, thanks for talking to us and Liverpool Solidarity Federation, uh, we intend to support your campaign as much as we can and also encourage other locals throughout the country to support it as well. Thank you.